Welcome back to the part two, which is going to be eSport Winter Cases. I've got myself the 50 eSport Winter Cases, of course, already. So let's roll with the Silver Elite Master, actually with the Silver Experiment I'm calling it right now. Oh shit, okay, it is not starting up with the common skin, so I'm all fine for that. And yeah. <laughs> nice mustache. No, I'm gonna shave it right away again, but I didn't bother today. It's like I'm doing a casual stream, opening cases, so I don't know. And I, I, I didn't really bother to shave myself. It is not like this is some kind of fashion show or something on stream, so. Um, can you please share a music playlist for beginner YouTubers? Uh, I don't know. It is depending on you. The thing is, if you want to use music on YouTube, you have to have the license. So, what I'm doing is I'm sending the artist's messages and we have a Statric AK Blue Lemonade, bitches. What is up now? Woo! That's nice, that's nice. It was like the fourth case or something in the East for Winter. I like that. Um, back to the topic. If you want to have, like, music, you have to have the licenses. So I'm sending them a message saying like, Hey, I'm Kevin, I run this YouTube channel. I would love to use your music um, commercially on YouTube to put ads on it. I would obviously credit you in this way, in this way, in this way, in this way. If you want to have credit on screen or whatnot, please tell me. If you would like a collaboration, please send me an email on this account and we can talk about it. And yeah, 50% or 40% of these artists then reply and then I can use their music. But it is some kind of weird shit all the time to get the license. Like, for instance, if you have a, a really known label behind the artist, you have to message the label, of course. Um, and most of the labels actually charge music for that. I have paid a, quite a couple of times already to be able to use music from proper um, labels. But that is only if the, if the song is so perfect for a movie that I actually love to pay for it. There is a couple of artists where I buy the music all the time, which is for instance Voicitions or Danger Kids and all these kind of things that I've used in my movies because they are simply great artists. What difference does the stat track make, um, Mr. Sheets? Or it simply counts your kills. That is kind of cool, a cool feature. And when it comes to market, the stat track, um, like if you have a normal weapon, the stat trick basically increases the price a hell load. So for instance, the AK I just pulled out is probably like 20 euro. And if I would have pulled the same AK without stat trick, it would have probably been like 1 euro. Uh, I've done, Mr. Dumier, I've done the video where I, com like, just follow the steps that I've put in the video. You can, compl you can see exactly what I've done there. I don't know. I don't know if it's better if you have a low-level account with the case openings. It's sh I'm just doing it that way. Oh, we have moderators in here. Do we? No, it's the nightbot again. Oh, you can see the microphone. <laughs> right, let me put it that way. Oh, there we are. Should be best. Should be better now. Am I going to DreamHack Summer this summer? I hope so. I hope so. But since we are a Swedish-based organization, I actually think that I'm going there, yeah. I'm also probably going to cop made games. Exactly, Mr. Sweet123, thanks a lot for telling the people regarding the NVIDIA video contest. Just go on the um, Facebook post and um, watch the video. I think I've explained it properly. Uh, the keys left is not updating due to it being only a graphic. It is not um, a counter or something. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to code this kind of stuff, so I've only done a graphic regarding it. You can call me Tweeday, you can call me Tweetday, you can call me Tweety, you can call me Kevin, whatever you want. I don't mind it really. <laughs> no, I'm never. It's so such a huge difference playing on a that high level. And 
You, you wouldn't even imagine how much of a difference it is. Unless you've been playing in, what, in such a tournament. I've done it once, playing it in an official match, and it is really, really, really a huge difference. So many, so many Russians. Russians, please don't spam the chat that way. Oh. Holy Hannah. So many people. I would not say that, Mr. Blackhead Hill. Or Hat the Devil, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so where's the knifey? There we are, one second. Nightbot is going to work now. I'm sorry for the short pause. I just had to put Nightbot on. Alright. Let's put the subscribers mode on for a second. Am I going to open the DH and the, C, uh, the ECL cases also? No, I'm not, Frederick. I'm not. Sorry. Uh, I'm actually... Um, putting these in my inventory and waiting until they are something like proper worth or I'm actually um, using them to bet on CSGO matches and yeah that is all about it I'm, I'm only betting with the souvenirs nowadays because if I win I actually win like 30 or 40 value all the time and if I lose I actually don't lose that much which is also a bad thing because I bet on Dignitas yesterday with like the souvenirs packages, but unfortunately, I didn't bet with proper Star Trek weapons because if I would have, I would probably went out with 1,000 value. But that way, I only went out with 150 value, and I won like some kind of orbs and a few Star Trek AKs, and like a few, like I think two it was or so. So I bit pretty much my ass when I saw the screenshot where the guy won like nine orb Asimovs in Star Trek and shit. That was hilarious. It was really, really amazing when I saw that. But it's also cool because when somebody has the guts to go that much all in and then win finally the stuff, he yeah, he deserves it, I guess. I think I've seen a valid question, but yeah, the spam took it away from me. Oh, oh well, oh well. He's so silent now when the subscribers mode is on. I'm gonna put it off for a second. Um, Geburtsdatum, Mr. Platter, is date of birth. It is date of birth, so... There we go. Freedom! What is my favorite AK skin? Uh, AK Redline, AK Black Lemonade, AK Fire Serpent, in that order. Ah, oh, shit. I actually nearly got the other ones. Just add another bot. I've seen somebody asking. Holy shit, how many people are we on the stream? I've never seen that much spam. 5,600. Holy Hannah. Welcome to everybody who's actually tuning in. I really appreciate it. Am I, do I prefer the P250 or the C set? I prefer the P250. Yeah, this is a new stream, that is why this uh, knife count is on zero right now. The, la the, the episodes that I have on the YouTube channel are from last Sunday. This is a new stream. Yeah, I'm trying to keep up with the chat. 
What do you bet on today's? I did bet. I bet on Titan, but not, but only, but like 10 euros, I think. So if you bet today, it is a really, 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 really harsh bet. So it could go either way. Holy shit, my eyes are just like. Chat, chat, chat. Oh! <laughs> a bayonet! A bayonet vanilla! Nice! GG! Let's pull the last cases then. P2, P2000 or USP? USP right now. Where did you bet? On C's go launch, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hello. <laughs> the silver power is enabled. What rank am I on my main account? Supreme. I think. Supreme. It could be either Supreme or Legendary Eagle Master. It is depending. It always depends on how many uh, obvious hackers I get at a night or on how often I actually play. Because right now I do not even play much. I think I have like 60 hours or 70 hours the last two weeks. Whereas like 95% are just from recording videos and watching demos for videos. What is my favorite knife skin? Uh, Slaughter. Slaughter by far. I can't really decide on what I really play. I always switch between the Karambit, the Bayonet right now. The normal Bayonet Slaughter and the Karambit Slaughter. That is what I'm switching right now, all the time. How many subscribers do I have? I can check on that later on. I can check on that when I'm done with that part. Um, Mr. Litty92, I actually done the video of Shocks already. It is on my YouTube channel if you want to check it out. Uh, I didn't only do the ace of him though. I actually did all the actions that he has done yesterday versus LDLC and Virtus Pro. I felt like because all the other people only did the Glock ace, I should do something more special. Alright, the last case for this episode. A Star Trek Nova Ghost Camo. All right, there we roll. Let's see what we've gotten. Quality in all. Boom! A bayonet. A bayonet is in our inventory. Or oh, in my inventory, actually. <laughs> but I, I feel with you. I uh, share with the world, you know. Uh, Star Trek AK Blue Lemonade. These two are the highlights of this opening part. All right, thank you for watching, and see you in the next part. Woo!